<laughs> All right, so a new lacrosse VA1 just arrived in the mail today. So let's unbox it and set it up. So here in the box, they give you this nice little booklet talking about the add-on sensors. I didn't even know they have a barbecue grill thermometer. I knew about most of the other stuff though. The wind sensor and the rain sensor, I already know you can actually see those on the display. But I can tell you for a fact, the multi-sensor is pass-through only. You cannot see that data on the display. You can see it in the lacrosse view app. I'm also not familiar with the pool sensor, open closed door sensor, high temperature sensor. I don't know if those are passed through or if they come up on the display or not. There's a lot of sensors you can add to this projection alarm clock. Um, and they give it a nice setup guide, or I guess you can call it like a manual. They also have it online as well. So there's that. I believe this is a 5 volt power adapter if I'm not mistaken but hopefully this thing will turn on with battery on man I'm hoping it's a full battery backup just like my old one was let's hope so one thing I didn't like about my old one it's about 15 years old is whenever you have to put new batteries in the outdoor thermometer you have to reset the whole damn unit but with this one you put the batteries in the unit first and then the batteries in the outdoor sensor. So I'm hoping that means when the batteries go bad in the outdoor sensor, you don't have to reset this thing every time, hopefully. So this is the display console, obviously. And CR2030, oh, that's just a watch battery. Dang, so I think it is only gonna back up the time and date and not back up everything else, unfortunately. I was Hoping for a full battery backup. Okay, well that means I actually have to plug it in, which I wasn't originally planning on doing. Uh, but I have some plugs down here. We'll just plug it in down here temporarily and I'll just have to plug it in again later when I move it. Well, it looks like it comes with a pretty long core at least. I'm not sure how many feet that is. All right, so let's plug this in. So back here, plugs in on the back. There's also a one amp USB port. Since this is an alarm clock, I'm guessing that might be like a phone charger USB port there, but I'm not sure. It's a really nice looking, really colorful display compared to my old one. My old one didn't have any color at all. Okay, and in the manual they want you to set up the lacrosse view app on, my, on the, your phone first, but I'm not sure yet if I even want to do that because later on when I get the the wind sensor see if you have it without the lacrosse view app you can display i believe the uh the current wind speed and the gust but if you have it on the app it'll do the current and the wind speed direction instead and i'm not sure if i want it to operate that way or not so i'm not sure if i want the lacrosse view app or not plus i don't think that app is free either i think you have to pay for it so here's our outdoor temperature and humidity sensor I believe it updates like every 50 or 51 seconds. My old one would only update like every five minutes. So this is going to be a big upgrade. Plus this is 915 megahertz. So the transmission range is going to be a little bit better. The old one I think was 433 megahertz. And a lot of times I lose the signal. It has to go through, I think it goes through three walls and it's about 50 feet away. And when it, when it rains, it loses signal. And during colder weather, it loses signal. So this one should have a better signal. So this front cover just slides off now I'm going to put two AA batteries in here okay, I 
already saw it flash blue, so I guess it was already sending a signal. It looks like it already has outdoor temperature here. 55% humidity, 75 degrees. It's not really that warm in here, it's just because I'm holding it, but it works anyways. Okay, so what else do we need to do to set this up? Wednesday, January 1st. So how do I get into the setup? Let's see. Two fresh batteries. One thing you should know is a lot of people on Amazon get this model confused with the one that works with AccuWeather. So there's one model that works with AccuWeather. It does not come with this outdoor temperature and humidity sensor. This one does, and this is a newer version. This is a VA1. There's an older one. I forget the model name, but I'll probably put it in the description. Uh, let's see. How do we get into the setup? See, all this stuff is about the Wi-Fi app. But that's not what I want. Hold and enter the setting menu. Okay, so... So, the second button from the right, all the buttons are back here. I guess I can lean this forward so the camera can see it. So the second button from the right says set. So that should be the setting button. So I'm going to hold that down. All right, there we go. Now we're in the settings menu. And manually set your time and date. And go through here. Okay, but how do I adjust it? Hmm. The uh, this manual could be a little bit more detailed. Let's just try to figure it out. So set. Okay, so plus and minus buttons toggle through the languages, so we want English. I'm just gonna press set again, see what happens. Okay, yeah. So it looks like each time you press the set button, it takes you to the next item. Plus and minus will change the current value of the current item that you're on. 12 hour, that's what I want. I'm gonna press set. What time is it? 4.50? So I'm gonna press plus until I get it to four. Press set. Now we're on minutes. I'm going to press uh, minus. It'd be easier to go back the other way. Press set again. Year 2020. No. Plus 2021. Set. We are in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just hit September 1st. So minus. Set. Set again. And set again. Fahrenheit, yes. So we'll set again. Is that it? Wow, so that's pretty easy, pretty quick to get through the basic settings for time and date. Um, what else can we set? I believe we can also do some projection settings. Let's see. Oh, so that USB port in the back? Yeah, that's for charging devices. So you can charge cell phones and stuff off of it. That's what I figured. And there's a button here that says extra sensor, the second one from the left. So that button will toggle between alarm time, nap time and duration, outdoor temperature, indoor temperature. So when it's projecting information on the ceiling, you can decide, do you just want it to project? Wow, that's really bright. Do you want it to just project the, uh, the time on the ceiling or do you want it to project the time and the indoor temperature and the outdoor temperature? It'll also show humidities. It'll show your outdoor rain data if you have the rain gauge. It'll show uh, your wind information if you have the wind gauge. I'm planning on getting those later rain gauge and wind gauge and I'll be trying those out and doing more videos. This projector is really bright compared to my old one. It's daytime outside, lights are on in my room. 
I can still see it on the ceiling very well. My old one, I can't see at all. Big difference. I believe you can adjust the brightness of both the projector and the display, if I'm not mistaken. And you can set a timer so at a certain time of night it dims down to the display so you can sleep and then it'll brighten back up in the morning. Um, what else? Map charging for plus minus. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, so you can also you can also adjust where this thing is on the ceiling. My old one, it just points in one direction. You can't adjust the angle. This you can adjust the angle on the ceiling. And I believe you're supposed to be able to zoom in and out. Oh no, it just rotates. So you know what? Let's see if I can adjust this camera so I can point at that ceiling. So you see what I mean. Now you know what? I'll just take this off for a minute. This tripod won't angle that much. Here's a better look at the display. Beautiful. Now it says the battery's low indoors already. I guess they sent me a Brent, an old battery. Anyways, can't believe how bright that is. My old one's over there, and you can't even see it. See, there's my old one. And you can rotate this, and you can adjust the angle of where it goes. Oh wow, you can really angle that thing far. Anyways, I'm going to run some tests on this and do some more reviewing later, so that's it for now.